around certain things so I thought I would put together a staples video. So here are my six staples that I think everyone should have in their wardrobe um, and I'm going to basically show you how I style each staple so how you can create different looks with each staple item in your wardrobe. So my first staple that I just think everyone should have in their wardrobe are a pair of ripped jeans. Now these ones are Missy Empire. So this is like a dad jean. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these jeans on and then I'm going to show you how I would style them and what I normally wear with them just to give you guys a bit of inspo. I know my hair looks weird but I just feel like for the duration of this video we're just going to keep it like this. Just vibes. So my first go to with a pair of skinny jeans is a bodysuit. Now I've just gone for like a roll neck bodysuit but any kind of bodysuit I just feel like it really goes nicely with any pair of ripped jeans sucks you in at the waist makes you feel comfortable confident and it can it's just a very simple chic stylish look and you can dress this up with jackets trainers or heels or boots so i just feel like using your simple items can just create such a good base look so my next um go-to styling item with a pair of ripped jeans is just a check shirt it can be oversized it doesn't have to be oversized but I just feel like the ripped jeans with that check shirt gives that more like country like American vibe so I just feel like pairing it with a check shirt just adds a little something extra to the jeans and like makes it more that makes the jeans look more of a statement than they are in the first place so I definitely feel like adding a check shirt is another way to style your ripped jeans okay so the final item of clothing that I just think is a must when it comes to your ripped jeans is a baggy t-shirt but tucked in and then pulling it out around the waist now you might be thinking that's so simple but the simple looks work the best and again this is just another great base look you can now turn this into like a chic vibe with a blazer or you can turn it into a streetwear like vibey style with a leather jacket or you can even add like a big fluffy coat so it's just using your basics like I said already to just create like nice simple looks that then you can style to your vibe so my next absolute everyone should have in their wardrobe a staple piece is a white shirt now my white shirt was five pound from the men's section in Primark it doesn't need to be a fancy white shirt but just a white shirt will you can just style this in so many ways it's a really good layering piece okay so for look number one layering your shirt over a skirt not tucking it in just creates that nice little like layered look and then by adding another layer on top of the shirt making like with this one I've gone a bit more chic letting my sleeves stick out my collar over the top I've gone for just a brown jumper because it's in fashion but whether this is a sweater I've done this outfit with a sweater before and it worked well whether it's a different kind of jumper it's not actually cropped it sits there but I've just like cropped it up to give it a bit more of a vibe I've gone with chunky boots on the bottom but yeah using your shirt basically to layer especially in winter you can put sweaters and jumpers over the top of it okay so I feel like the trend of the season is the sweater vest and you your shirt and your sweater vest are just like a married couple they go hand in hand if you are struggling to find what to put your shirt with sweater vests are perfect for it whether you've got cropped sweater vests a big one like this I've just kept the skirt on but definitely sweater vest and your shirt can go with jeans leggings my leather trousers that I'm going to show you so you can style these two items with a lot of things I've tucked it in just because I feel like this gives it more of like a chic on trend vibe you can wear it out baggy like I did the other one if you just feel like you are wanting a more like casual look rather than the tucked in smarter look what I want to show you is that you can use crop tops over your shirt because they create this nice like baggy look how I wear this outfit is just like opening up the shirt to like just open up your trousers so it's just worth experimenting with the crop tops that you own and putting them over your shirt and seeing what works well what doesn't work well and they will easily go with like black or blue jeans so I hope I've shown you how you can use a shirt to layer it in different ways to create different looks now the third 
must have in your wardrobe is a hoodie. Now the one I'm going to show you is um, a cropped hoodie but any kind of hoodie is just a must have in your wardrobe right now. Again hoodies are great for styling, being able to have the hood out, they're really comfortable, great for lockdown as well but also as I say because they're on trend at the moment like a lot of celebrities are wearing hoodies and that loungewear vibe, layering it with the coats and the crossbody bags and things so that you can style this to look really on trend and you're also going to wear it all the time at home and be comfortable. So again, another must have in your wardrobe. Okay, so for the hoodie, as I said, I've gone for a cropped hoodie just to show you. Now, my number one style for a hoodie is if you have a matching coloured pair of joggers piece them together. You've just created a really nice loungewear set piece, whether you bought them together or not, but it's coordinating, it's matching, and it's really comfy for lockdown. I have got some brown joggers on order so that I can wear this with this, but they haven't arrived yet in time for the video. I'm going to be showing you jack two jackets, like my two go-to jackets that I would wear with a hoodie and are really good for styling and just creating more of that street wear style that you see on like Pinterest and things like that. So the first one is my leather blazer. Now I absolutely love wearing my leather blazer with my cropped hoodies. I tend to always go for my leather pants as well and go double leather. But again, with black skinny trousers, it would work really well. So can you see how the leather jacket just gives this hoodie a bit more of like a street style vibe? And you can just like style it tucked out. Again, you can add a necklace by adding bags, sunglasses, jewellery. You just create in different looks and different vibes. So this one for me is like my favourite go-to because I am into more of that like streetwear vibe at the moment. Okay, so the second jacket that is my go-to is a shacket. Shackets are really in fashion at the moment. This one I've just gone for like neutral tones because it's with the brown. So like a bit of a contrast of like brown and neutral tone. But it's just adding different layers to create different vibes for that day. So you're feeling like you're dressing differently but you're still just using the same staple pieces. Fourth must have, if you know me, you've watched my other videos and my fashion hauls, you know I love bodysuits anyway, and to be fair this doesn't necessarily have to be a bodysuit, but another staple I just feel like every girl should have in a wardrobe is a roll neck. Now I know I showed you before I do have a black roll neck as well, I mean I have roll neck jumpers, roll neck bodysuits, everything, but I'm going to just be showing you how I style this white roll neck top, again, great for layering, being able to show the turtleneck, but also great for just wearing on its own. Okay, so with your roll necks, people like tend to go for trousers and skirts, so it's like use your dresses. Roll neck is the perfect underlayer for a dress, especially in winter. Do you see what I mean? Like the roll neck just gives the dress another layer, it makes it look a bit more chic, stylish than if I was to just wear it as a dress, it'd be more going out. I can style this with a belt if I want, I can choose different types of bags, I can choose heels with this, or I can choose chunky boots, I can add a blazer, or I can add a statement coat. So there's so many different ways you can go with this, but just using your plain dresses that you're not being able to wear at the moment, you can just like have a roll neck underneath and you've just created a winter look. So you may have seen on my Instagram, but I love a good roll neck and a sweater, especially with joggers at the moment because, you know, lockdown, why not? Like we've got to be comfy. But just to get a little bit closer, do you see, do you see what I mean? I just feel like a roll neck goes with a sweater. Add a chunky necklace and you've got a bit more of a vibe. But the layer just really works for me, especially in winter. I just feel like it adds so much more. I just wouldn't never really wear a sweater on its own and leave the neck out. I just feel like this just makes an outfit look complete. So always use your roll neck and don't just see it as a top on its own. Always see it as what can I wear over the top of this to show off the layer of the roll neck. This is just a plain crop top that is meant to be a crop top. It's meant to be a statement on its own. Can you just see like what a difference it makes having the roll neck? Again, a chunky necklace and you've just created more of a vibe and your crop top that you're probably only going to wear in summer or when you go out, you can now wear this like going out shopping in winter over your roll neck so you're just getting more use of your items by like layering and using your staples. I just feel like every girl should have a black pair of skinny trousers in her wardrobe. Now I have gone skinny, I do have a, a baggy pair of leggy leather trousers as well so if you do own a baggy pair I'm not necessarily saying you have to go out and buy a skinny pair 
But I just do feel like whether you, it's leggings, whether it's black skinny jeans, whether it's skinny black leather trousers, a pair of black skinny something needs to live in your wardrobe. Now these ones are boohoo um, and they have like the slip flares at the bottom. But as long as you own a black skinny pair of something, you can style them all the same. Back to bodysuits. Okay, so with my leather um, trousers, whether it's black skinny jeans, whether it's black leather trousers, bodysuit, 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 bodysuit. And I did an Instagram on how to dress confidently. And I said, if you're someone with like skinny trousers and a bodysuit on, and it is something that you're uncomfortable with, if you go and watch that IGTV, it's like how to layer and what to wear on top and over certain areas to make you feel a bit more comfortable. But this is just a vibe that I love and like because I just feel like bodysuits keep everything tucked in and they I just think they look classy and they look nice. So I haven't actually said a bodysuit is a staple, but for me a bodysuit is a staple. So another absolute go-to look with any form of skinny trouser is like a big baggy jumper over the top. One, it's amazing for comfort. Two, if you're feeling a little bit conscious then about any hips or hip dips, it can cover that. I do have even baggier jumpers that sometimes if I'm in the mood to just cover up and just show my legs off as the statement, I'll put a baggy jumper over the top and just show my like skinny trousers. But I've just gone for like a bit of a shorter one today because I do just like sometimes if I'm feeling it, using your baggy jumper to tuck in. I like to do just like the one tuck, but some people do like to do it all. But yeah. Like, I just feel like big baggy jumpers with your skinny trousers are such a good look, really good for winter, and we probably do you all own jumpers. So again, you're not having to like necessarily go out and buy different things. Now this is probably more for like going out after lockdown, but using your crop tops and your skinny trousers, because it's that like jeans and a nice top scenario. Um, and I've just posted an Instagram reel on jeans and a nice top inspo, so you can go and see that, and it's just the same pair of trousers, but changing tops and telling you where they're from, just for a bit of nice top info. This one is Missy Empire. Now if you are someone that is like conscious of wearing crop tops, this is why I really like this one, why I'm showing it in the video. It's got this like ruched side that you can pull up, um, or like pull down so you can wear it at what length you would like. I like to find longer fitting crop tops as well that do like so they're not up here. I like them to like not necessarily show loads of skin. So definitely find crop tops with that like U shape. Um, I find that really helpful. So yeah, just add in a crop top with your skinny trousers. Now last but not least. If you don't have a pair of joggers in your wardrobe, where have you been for the last year? Because we've been in lockdown and I swear that's all we've been living in. Um, but is joggers. Now, I was like, which colour should I choose? Because I feel like everyone does like a grey jogger. But I am someone, as you can tell from my clothing and all of my staples are pretty much black and white. But I just feel like you need just your basic black and white clothing to then be able to style it with colourful things. Because colours go in and out of fashion but your staples are always going to be black and white. So I've gone for the black jogger. I'm only going to show you this one look for the joggers and here's why. If you do follow me on TikTok and Instagram and if not, you can go and follow me. I have got a video on each about how to style grey joggers and how to style black joggers so I go into a lot of more detail of like um, showing a sporty vibe with your joggers, showing a chic style with your joggers, showing a smart, smart style with your joggers, a streetwear style and like layering it with loads of different jackets but my absolute favourite is a matching two piece. Now I didn't buy these two matching but I just feel like little black crop top black joggers while you're just in the house I just feel like you can't go wrong with matching your joggers I like styling my joggers with things but my I just I feel like joggers were made to go with a matching piece whether it's a matching sweater a matching hoodie whether it's a matching crop top matching bodysuit whatever you feel comfortable with but literally my favorite thing is to just match joggers so yeah that was my styling staples video. I hope I just showed you how you can use your basics, use the must-have things in your wardrobe to just create 
really nice simple looks that then you can like, like accessorize um so yeah i hope this helped if you want any other kind of styling videos any other styling advice how to style a certain item please just message me on instagram i can do reels and tiktoks on it i can also do more styling youtube videos if you've enjoyed it if you want to go check out any of my other videos i have my boyfriend dresses me for a week i also have a boohoo and plt haul if you are more into the fashion side of things but yeah i hope you enjoy and i'll see you in the next video bye